and welcome to your favourite teacher. Today we'll be looking at the properties of ionic compounds. As a quick, friendly, no judgement reminder, an ion is basically an atom with a positive or negative charge. An ionic compound consists of both positive and negative ions, which have strong electrostatic forces between the ions due to them being oppositely charged. Opposite charges attract and the ions in an ionic compound are arranged in a 3D structure. As positive ions attract negative ions and negative ions attract positive ions. So rows and columns of ions are formed as the ions form strong bonds in every direction. This is because the electrostatic forces act in every direction. This regular 3D shape is described as a giant lattice. Not lettuce, lattice. Giant because the structure can be made of numerous ions and it can become a very large structure, much bigger than simple molecules. The regular rows and columns form straight, neat lines just like a lattice. The melting and boiling points of ionic compounds are very high. For an ionic compound to melt or evaporate, the particles need to separate, but the particles in an ionic compound that need to spread out are charged ions. The attraction between the oppositely charged ions is strong, and so they don't separate very easily. Much like trying to prise apart your teacher from their morning coffee. The bond is strong. To separate the ions, enough energy is needed to overcome the attraction of the electrostatic forces. These forces are super strong and a huge amount of energy is required. Water is a very good solvent, good for you H2O, and it has a slight positive and slight negative ends on its molecules. These charges are enough to attract the ions. This causes dissolving and ions spread out throughout the water. The ions still have a charge, but they're free to move around in the solution. When melted, the ions in an ionic compound are also able to move freely. In a solid ionic compound, the ions are held tightly by the electrostatic forces and are in fixed positions in the giant lattice structure. For electricity to flow, the ions must be able to move. If you want to conduct electricity, a solid ionic compound is just not going to cut it. You need a melted ionic compound or a dissolved ionic compound so that the ions are free to move. So let's summarise. Ionic compounds are 3D giant lattice structures made up of many positive and negative ions held together by strong electrostatic forces. The melting and boiling points are high due to the amount of energy needed to overcome the attraction between the ions. Ionic compounds can conduct electricity, but only as a solution or when melted to allow ions to move freely. I'm Miss Meeks, and we've been looking at the property of ionic compounds with your favourite teacher.